has been trotting the globe, coming Western Europe, for stories that speak to the international libertarian in all of us. We don't live in the only country that hates wealthy people. So Matt, what is France doing this time? President of France, Francois Hollande, got, uh, got elected in 2012. He was going to be the anti-austerity French president, because Lord knows they've had so much austerity before him. Uh, Big Socialist Party guy has been there uh, uh, in the, at Parachik for a long time. He thought that what he would do is raise taxes on the rich and basically soak the rich to pay for social programs in France much more than they already have been. Uh, just today or yesterday, the French Constitutional Court approved his uh, uh, proposal to tax people who make more than $1.3 million, 75%. 75%? 75%. Why would you stay in that country if you're getting taxed 75% on your money, if regardless your name is of what you make? Gerard Depardieu, you don't. You go to Belgium, uh, and I think he has Russian citizenship now, and even, and this one really... He and Edward Snowden are dating. <laughs> totally dating. Uh, this one actually hurts the French national character, Johnny Halliday, uh, who is their uh, fake version of Elvis. Um, he also has repudiated the country and, uh, and said that it's uh, punishing people who are successful. But the long and the short of it is that the French economy sucks. It is terrible. They have the worst unemployment there that they had 16 is it, years. Is it the worst in, in Western Europe right now or just bad for them? No, nothing's worse than Spain and, and Greece. You know, it depends on what the you call pigs. Western Europe. Yeah, we didn't even have to bring them Europe. up. But France used to be on par with Germany in the 1980s. They're basically the same size economies and, uh, and population. And that has just completely diverged. And now you have the French model that's going like this and is sinking and getting worse and worse. German economy is doing pretty well. And the British economy is also doing uh, slightly well, or at least better than all of that. Uh, and you just have all this anecdotal evidence of people, like uh, my French in-laws, that's why I go to France, not Wait. necessarily to comb the, the world for all these stories, but uh, they're not the most libertarian of people necessarily, but they'll talk about how the local baker um, refuses to work weekends because he doesn't want to give Hollande money. I mean, it's like straight out of an Ayn Rand novel kind of thing. Uh, you know, there's lines up. Uh, Who is Jean Gaulle? <laughs> <laughs> there are lines out the door at you know uh, every December 31st at every actuary's uh, office because people are desperate to like give their life savings to their kids before a new deadline comes in and they're taxed more. Do they have bad death taxes? They have they have huge huge tech, uh, death taxes are crazy and you have an entire generations. I mean, go to parts of New York. You hear French spoken on the street. I live in in part of Brooklyn with a French dual language school that my uh, daughter goes to. You hear more French on the streets than you do any other foreign language. An entire generation or even two generations of French young people can't find work, and so they're just moving to London, to New York, to L.A., anywhere else except France. And while you were doing your tireless sort of investigative reporting over there in France, I don't know if you came across this answer, but and I know here when we've had very punishingly high tax rates for the highest tax brackets that folks avoid them and that they actually end up paying quite a bit less. Is, is that happening in France Money as well? Money is mobile, oddly enough. Sure, yeah, and the, rich people, the richest people they are the most way. mobile. There's a guy, I, w I went to a, a Swiss-French uh, lawyer dinner here in New York, because that's what you, you do for fun, uh, the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this guy who is a uh, real estate agent said basically he wished he could have voted for Hollande three times because he's gotten so much business from rich French people moving saying, screw it, <laughs> moving to Manhattan and buying up $4 million apartments because they don't want to have their money there. Their money is just a target for the government. He's got, uh, he's got low approval ratings, though, Hollande. I'm very similar to Obama because he's going for the income inequality, class warfare, and he's got bad poll numbers. Will any of this help them in the long run? Maybe. In the 80s, they had a similar experiment under the previous French socialist president, Francois Mitterrand. He's like, let's nationalize everything. Let's do this. We're going to turn things around. What happened was they did this at the same time that Thatcher was liberalizing the economy in Britain, and so within a couple of years, it was obvious. The writing was on the wall. This experiment didn't work. This one is working. And so the French started in the late 80s privatizing stuff. So maybe there'll be something like that happening, but I've been observing France for 20 years now, and nothing good's happened. Well, yes, uh, North Korea is the only country that has a, a slightly more liberal economy than France right now. It's not nice. That's not nice at all, and I'm really ashamed that you said it. <laughs> all right, well, you have a ticket for Sochi, but do the bombings in Russia make you rethink your Olympic travel plans? That's coming up a little later, but up next, unemployment insurance hurts poor people, but it's really, really popular. We'll convene a panel in your honor. That's coming up in moments.